Hi, Sally Walker here, your hormone expert, and welcome to my hormone blog. Today I'm going to answer a question I got from Pia. Pia is a Danish lady, and she says, Hi, Sally, I'm following you, and I think it's amazing. So thank you very much, Pia, for that. Um, and she says, I have a couple of questions. So uh, she'd like to, to know, how do I know, uh, or how can one know when we need to use the, uh, the estriol cream twice a day? And she also would like to know, uh, is there any way of knowing if you're getting too much of the estriol? So thank you very much, Pia, for the very good questions. I'm sure there's lots of ladies out there that have seen the, some of the earlier blogs that are also thinking, oh, why Why did Sally start using it twice a day? You know, what was the reason? Is there anything that we need to be aware of, etc.? So let's start with uh, what you should be aware of, okay? So estriol is an estrogen, uh, and it's the mildest of all the estrogens, absolutely. But it's still an estrogen. So the, the official recommendations from the, the health uh, uh, community is that when we use estrogens after menopause with or without, um, um, well, we, when we use estrogen, uh, we have to uh, support it or we have to balance it with a progestogen. This is the official recommendation. If this progestogen is a progestin or progesterone, um, makes no difference. But the official recommendation is if you're going to use estrogen, then you need to use a progestogen. So now this is even though last year there was rather a large report that came out which shows quite clearly that using the combination, the oestrogen with a progestogen, will actually increase your risk for breast cancer. So let's just have a little look in more detail here. So the report was based on statistics. So uh, the scientists were looking at uh, the studies since 2000, uh, 2002 of um, breast cancer and using HRT. And what they discovered was that if you use the combination, so estrogen with a progestin, then your risk for breast cancer uh, was increased with 2%. So one out of 50 would have an increased risk. If you were just using the estrogen on its own, then the increased risk was 0.5%, so one out of 200. Now remember ladies, if you're having a couple of drinks a day, uh, smoking, uh, if you're overweight and, and, and especially seriously overweight, then your risk for breast cancer can be up around 9 to 12% increased. So, you know, estrogen is not uh, the, the major uh, problem here. Um, so that's what they, they discovered, but unfortunately the recommendations are still standing that if you're going to use the estrogen, you should officially use a progestin. Now, estriol is very mild. So using the cream called Ovestin, um, in the, the papers in the box, it would say, uh, recommend that you can use it every day in your vagina for, uh, for three days, about three weeks. Then after that, you should go down to two or three times a week. Now, um, when using it other places in the body, then, so, so they don't discuss this at all in this piece of paper, but, um, when you use it other places in the body, um, it's a long way, especially using it in your face, it's a long way down to your vagina. So my recommendation is if you're going to use the estrogen, so why, why do you need to use the progestin? Well, it controls, it balances estrogen and estrogen has a big effect on your uterine wall. Uh, it activates it, it creates blood. So once we're finished with our menopause and we don't get our monthly bleed, we, you know, we don't particularly want to have any more bleeds, do we? Um, so it doesn't matter where this estrogen comes from, if you're eating it, if you're creaming yourself with it, etc. Um, if there's enough estrogen, it will activate the wall. Now, because estriol is so mild and if you're using it on your face and your neck, etc., then, as I said, it's a long way down to the uterus, so the chances of your uterus, so your uterine wall being activated are very, very slim. So I've been using this personally for many years. I have many clients that have been using it for many years. And my official recommendation is that if you're going to use the, the Ovestin or use the Estriol cream, 
then have a yearly scan, an ultrasound scan of your uterus. Your uterine wall will be measured and we're looking for the thickness. So if it's thick, it's telling it's activated, there is some blood. Um, and if there is some blood, then don't worry, you're not going to die, um, but you just need to get rid of it. So that means you're going to have to have a little bleed and then you want to rethink how much estrogen you're using. The other thing that happens uh, or will be checked with the uterine scan is uh, the area where the ovaries uh, were uh, to see if there's any growth there. So if there is uh, some tumour growth uh, starting, then doing a yearly scan or a two yearly scan, um, you'll catch these, uh, these tumours in their early stages and, uh, and then there's lots of things we can do about it. Uh, unfortunately, ovarian cancer is a killer because uh, very often it's not. Uh, caught until stage three and four, which is way too late. So getting a, a scan will tell you if you're activating your, your uterine wall uh, or not. And my experience is, uh, with my personal experience and with my clients, that it doesn't happen. Uh, oh, oh, um, estriol is such a mild estrogen, and when you're using it on your, on your face and neck, uh, activating that uterine wall is, is nearly impossible. So that was half the question, wasn't it? So if you can get too much of it. Um, now, why did I start using it twice a day? Well, I think here we need to talk about why I started using it, actually. So this is many years ago when I was about 52, 53 years of age. I um, didn't have quite so many wrinkles then. So it wasn't because of the wrinkles, really, uh, initially, but it was because of my mood. So when we use oestrogen on our, on our skins, it will be absorbed into the system and it will have other positive effects. So uh, low oestrogen symptoms could be mood, it could be your memory, it could be hot flushes, it could be joint pains, it could be palpitations. And originally I started using mine because of the palpitations, but I also noticed that it, it lifted my mood. So what happened about two or three years ago was I noticed that my mood had changed again. I wasn't quite the, the happy person, the happy-go-lucky, bubbly person that I used to be. So I thought, well, I'm going to try and use it twice a day. So I went from just using it in the evening uh, to using it uh, also in the morning. And I noticed very quickly, actually, that my mood lifted. So there's, there is no doubt in my mind that... Uh, uh, estriol is absorbed through the skin. Uh, it's good for your skin. There's no doubt about that. I talked about that last time. Uh, that it's also um, uh, studies out there showing quite clearly it does work. But it also works on the inside. So, uh, so yeah. So, but as I keep saying, there's a long way down to that uterus. And my experience is it does not uh, activate your uterine wall. So, so yeah, so that was my answers for Pia. Uh, I hope you've all found this interesting. Um, so, you know, if you want a little bit more personal advice, um, I also offer a 30 minute um, telephone conversation for 40 euros. Um, and that will give it a little bit more personal guidance. Now, that might be enough, uh, is enough for lots of people, but uh, for some, they need a little bit more advice. So if you do go further with me and uh, do my two-hour consultation, uh, then I will deduct the 40 euros from uh, the two-hour consultation fee. So you, you're not, you know, not going to lose out on anything. But for, for many ladies, the, the 30 minutes is enough just to get going at least. So... Any questions or if you'd like to contact me about uh, having a 30 minute conversation with me, then uh, give me an email sw at sally-walker.com. And that's, for, that's it for today. So uh, I look forward to seeing you again another day. Happy hormones, happy life.